I like to talk about creativity these days as opposed to design. I found that after, I don't know, 15 years of talking about design, people still kind they lean back. You know, tell me about design. It's still fairly esoteric. Talk about creativity, people will lean toward you. You know, the kids are creative. They think they might be creative. Their organization should be creative. Creativity is more inclusive. So I kind of stopped using the terminology of design, although the process is very, very similar. So those are the old dogmas of design and the new dogmas of creativity. That's where my thinking is. And I, I think, let me put this down for a moment, catch up here with my paper. I think this new list of concepts gives us a new ability. It, I have to do this with two hands. So I think the new dogmas of creati creativity give us a new ability, and that ability is to transform what money can't buy into what money can buy. Okay? It unites uh, the universe, the moral universe, with the commercial universe. Um, and when people talk about what's the magic in creativity or design, that's the magic. What money can't buy, higher order needs, your dreams, your aspirations, what money can buy, what you can provide in a marketplace with people that have the things that have economic value that people are willing to pay for. Okay? Now, let's dig into my book just a little bit. The Dogma of Creativity, Design a Social Movement. Okay? Uh, I'm going to run through the five competencies quickly, um, so I'll have a little more time, or a little time, at the end. Knowledge mining. I think most of you in this room are in the mining business. You're mining the existential in life in the search for what is meaningful to people. Branding, for example, is simply the commodification of meaning. Uh, I'll repeat that. There's a huge new thing with branding. Uh, the American Anthropological Association just had on its cover a thing about branding. Branding is newly hot again. And the reason why it's newly hot again is that people are reframing it in terms of cultural meaning and finding meaning in branding. Okay, so we should prospect for meaning, and when we find it, we should mine it. Where can we find those more and better wants that have deep meaning to people? All right, um, so let's play a game. If you look around at the innovations that have changed our lives over the past 20 or 30 years, they've come, again, mostly from young entrepreneurs starting their own companies, by connecting two or three dots of knowledge. Not a hundred stickies flying in the air, okay? Two or three dots of knowledge. So I'll play this game with you a little bit. This is the game I play with corporations and in my class. What do you get? Here's the game. What do you get when you connect? What do you get when you connect banking, Gen Y demographics, social media, and good data visualization? Mint.com. What do you get when you connect cars, a uh, new sharing value system as opposed to owning, plus social media? You get Zipcar. What do you get when you connect patronage of the arts with crowdsourcing and entrepreneurship? You get Kickstarter. Okay? It's really not all that complicated. 